beautiful day, beautiful junk, beautiful rosy. What do we got today? A little bit of aluminum. Jeep doors. Weber grills. Oh, Coke machine. Log truck coming. Oh, everyone had their chance. On the Coke machine. You could sell that. Had your chance. Now, it just turns into broken dreams. Cooler. I could have used that. old glass top stove worked perfectly the lady she didn't want to give it up but she had to upgrade put it on marketplace nobody wants it nope cooler oh, I want that gonna make something out of that nope no you're not it's all broken dreams snow blower starts and stalls who wants to mess with that piece of wood piece of wood could have flew off put it with the other pieces of wood Someone might need it. Start a fire. Tail light broken. Guy drove right into it. Beautiful load of scrap. Old Coke machine. Nope. Cut the cord. See you later. Aluminum wheels. It's okay. Here we are again. Sixty five degrees. Nice little load of junk on there. Real nice looking one. It's a first. Get a cooler like that. Hash browns. Who wants them? You back there? Hey. Not very crispy today, falling apart. Here, have a combination. All in pieces. Put a hundred bucks in the tank. Build her up. Guess you gotta spend money to make money. Hopefully, make something on this load. What we got in here? Hungry today. We are hungry. It's a nice day. Oh, we're up to 70. 
breeze blowing through up here in Maine. My favorite sausage, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. Kind of light on the seasoning today on that, but get all the food groups. Nice and hot. This one here, this this uh, Duncan, about halfway to the scrapyard. Make really good sandwiches in there. A lot better than the one in town. But. All the talk about gas prices. It's a big talk. Expensive. How much is it where you are? And uh, is it hurting you? I don't know. It used to, you know, I never really cared before about gas prices. Always had a gas guzzling B8, if you would. But it seemed like back in the day, all the years I've been doing this, when the price of scrap went up, the price of gas went up too. So it never really bothered me because I could still fill the truck, drive around, fill the truck up, and make 100, 150 bucks for the day, get some gas, you know, not too bad to do that. Never really bothered me too much, but now it's weird. It's the first time I've ever seen it. The price of scrap has dropped significantly three or four times in the past couple months. But the price of gas went up. town I live in it's up to 511 a gallon so I waited I had like a quarter of a tank and I waited till I got over here about halfway down to the yard I noticed a lot of the gas stations are always a, a bit lower so I just waited and uh, I just filled up I think I got like almost, I think I got like 19 and a half gallons or something, or 100 bucks. It was um, 4.98, I think, a gallon, regular. The old squirrel piss, mostly water. Got all that ethanol in there. what you're paying for watered down gas but hey trucks run on it up here in Maine there's a lot of the gas stations especially the ones on the outskirts and the small towns they have uh, non-ethanol ethanol free gas you can get but that was um it's always, you know, a little bit more, obviously, but it's about six bucks a gallon at this place I was just at. A lot of people say the older trucks, you got to run that. No, you really don't. The only problem with the ethanol gas, the new gas, is that you let it sit. Like in your lawnmower or your motorcycle or camper or something that. You know, an old antique vehicle that's going to sit around and you're only going to drive every now and then. You want to put some additive in there or something with it. Or run that non-ethanol gas because what happens is that stuff turns to a powder and it clogs up and uh, it also eats away at the old 
the old rubber hoses on the older vehicles. I've had that happen. Older carburetors too with all the, the gaskets. Doesn't like that. So, cats off. But, I did fill up um, the Suburban one time after I moved up here. I filled that up with non-ethanol and I also put some in the farm truck because that's got the freight motor GM performance with the cam and everything. So I tried it out. It's basically high test, you know, a premium fuel with no ethanol in it. I didn't really tell any difference um, in the way it ran. I'm sure that if I was, you know, street outlaws and uh, running quarter mile, I would tell a difference on that. But running it around, the only difference I really uh, noticed was the smell. It smelled a little better, had a nice, nice scent to it, you know, coming out the pipes. But there's also right around the corner from where I live, there's a uh, airport, a little small little airport, Millinocket. They use it. They're always there. They're always working on stuff. And small, you know, small planes and stuff fly out of there, into there, whatever. Life plate, helicopters, stuff like that. Um, but supposedly they have a pump around back and they got that aviation fuel like race fuel um, I've been told that you go there and buy it put your credit card in or whatever and you know your debit card and you can you can buy it if you want but then other people told me that only if they feel like selling it to you they don't really have to so I don't know I never really tried it but I can tell you one thing that I know is I know the smell of race fuel because I've had drag cars quarter mile and I bought race fuel for those I know what it smells like I've been to the racetrack I know that You see a four-wheeler, ATV, quad, whatever you want to call it, go by. I can smell that. And I can also smell it in the snowmobiles. And I can also smell it when the neighbor fires up his lawnmower. So come to find out, a lot of people around that can get that are buying it. Um, and they're running it in their small engines because for the for not only that it runs obviously really nice and clean I'm sure it makes your uh, you know ATV fly do wheelies you know motorcycle dirt bike whatever but um, you can store it away it doesn't go bad you know you can leave it in there so Put that in your lawnmower. Put it away for winter in the shed or the garage. And you go to fire that back up. It's gonna be all set to go. Now that being said, I don't put additive in any of my lawnmowers, but you know, I got those on the side of the road for free. But I tell you what, I run whatever gas I get in those and uh, you know what I do I push it in the shed forget about it until the grass grows again I get it out I pump the primer a few times give it about eight pulls and she's running she's all good for uh, for the season so I don't know a lot of theories on things but I have seen it for myself what that ethanol gas does got a generator 
that I actually own now. And uh, it was brand new, never run. It was given to me. And um, I took that carburetor float bowl off and it was all green powder. And that was the, uh, that ethanol gas, what, it, what happened to it after sitting. So, there's your little lesson on fuel. Very expensive. Got seven vehicles in the driveway. Sucks when you want to take one for a ride. None of them have gas in them. Expensive. Put 20 bucks in, you only get a little bit of a ride out of it. What are you going to do? The way the world turns, the way she goes. Sometimes she goes. Sometimes she doesn't. It's the way she goes. No time for celebrations today, boys. Phone's been ringing off the hook. We got calls to pick up trucks and cars and all kinds of stuff. Diesel vans, just the cab and engine and rear end and nothing else. I don't know. All kinds of stuff. But I uh, wanted to uh, give you the weigh and pay on that uh, that load there. Actually paid out a lot better than I thought. Um, I had a feeling that that big cooler thing was going to be uh, heavier than everyone thought. It was just uh, it was like used to you know carry ice cream and stuff. It had like a ice cream cone thing on the side of it, but uh, it was made to slide into a like an eight foot bed truck. You know, like a one ton or three quarter ton truck just sit in there and uh, that was it you know so um, didn't know much about it so anyway we uh, we pulled on the scale we why, why do I why do you say we I don't know it's just something you there's no one well yeah I guess we you know Rosie's here but you got I got no one no one to that wants to ride around and share my excitement of scrap metal and cash money but that's okay we'll enjoy it without you um, we pulled on the scale at 13,360 pounds big boy trucking so then we uh, pulled off and unloaded 
we pulled back on the scale at 8440 so that gave us a payout weight on tin light iron 4920 pounds almost 5,000 pounds that was the big cooler the coke machine an electric stove a snowblower on the trailer in the truck a Jeep door four steel wheels uh, the grill and some pieces from a cast iron wood stove almost 5,000 pounds and uh, they don't they don't put on here with the current prices per ton I don't know why they don't they don't do that but uh, you figure it out four hundred and fifty five dollars and ten cents for some light iron scrap I'd say that ain't too bad very surprised at that and then on our non ferrous metals sheet we had a roll of Romex wire that I uh, bought at a yard sale for ten dollars and I figured it was more more than that um, insulated copper I think that says sixty uh, dollars dollar sign I don't even know what it says dollar sixty maybe dollar something dollar ten a pound um, weighed twenty pounds twenty pound roll $22 so I made $12 profit and uh, on that roll of wire we had um, 45 pounds of clean mixed aluminum at 40 cents a pound uh, a few miscellaneous pieces I fished out of some stuff I got 18 bucks uh, 10 pounds of copper aluminum those long you know little radiators with the little fins on them you can sit there and take the fins off or you can just cash it in like that $1.20 a pound 12 bucks and four aluminum wheels which I got for free from the place that I got the cooler guy said these ain't worth nothing might as well take those yes sir I did take those and uh, they weighed in at 73 pounds 85 cents a pound on that 6205 for those four wheels and that brought us to a hundred and fourteen dollars and five cents for that stuff not a bad day and uh, we're on our way to get more